Welcome to How to Draw Celtic Knots with your host Jason Bellchamber. Today I'd like to show you how to draw the nice proportions of a Christian Celtic cross. This photograph shows the Ahini North Stone Cross, which is from about the 8th century. It's dated to about 750. The proportions of this cross are about 3 by 2. An equilateral cross refers to the arms and the height as being the same distance, but most of the typical Celtic crosses that we see today are Christian crosses. I'd like to show you the proportions on how to draw that. What you're going to need is a clear ruler, a compass, pencil, and an eraser. First off, let's draw a line. That's six inches or six units tall. Mark about two inches from the top. Usually this is six radiuses by four radiuses. And it's really quite beautiful to draw. Take your ruler and measure your compass so that the radius is an inch. Mark the center with your fixed point and draw one circle. Then moving up, put your fixed point on the line, draw a second circle, and then on the line draw a third circle. At this line here, take your pencil part, just roughly mark right where it would meet in the center. Draw another radius. Do the same on the right side. You're starting to see the basic shape. This is two by three wide. Now, here's where it gets fun. You're going to change your radius length of your compass to where these circles intersect here. And you draw another circle, like so. You're starting to see a nice shape here. This marquee shape right here, approximate, approximate where the center is going to be and change your radius to that. This is going to be the thickness of your arms of your cross. Mark another radius like so. Using a clear ruler, mark two lines parallel to your center line. That end here and here. This sort of design is uh, utilizing some of the measurements of the golden mean, too. Again, on your vertical arms, use this as the thickness of your arms. Now you can start to see the nice shape. Now, this thickness here, mark 
marked here and at this corner mark here and here here. Change the radius of your compass. this radius and mark it here and here here and here and lastly what we're going to do is use this fixed point and use this small radius here to mark that inner circle on the arms So, we're just trying a three quarter circle here. Then, and then another one here. Now, what you're going to do is take your marker. and mark out these lines. The outer edge here. Here. And this way you start to illustrate with by pen and ink techniques your Celtic cross. What makes a Celtic cross a typical Celtic cross is this outer radius. So I'll draw around it like so. And then mark these inside circles like this. That's how to get your basic proportions. Now to make it look really nice, what you should do is fill it in with knot designs. Now the way to do that is to start using your compass again to get some right proportions. Draw another small circle in the center. your arms equal size 